Hi, my name is Pavas Mehra. We are present today at Pred Security's 10th annual healthcare conference in Stockholm. And with me, I have Christer Alberg, uh, CEO of Sedona Medical. Welcome, Christer. Thank you very much. Uh, so, first of all, could you please uh, just walk us through uh, about Sedona and the product? Yes, indeed, I can do. Uh, we are a, a Swedish medtech company and uh, on our way to become uh, a pharmaceutical company. Yeah. Uh, we have as a vision to, to uh, make inhaled sedation uh, as a standard therapy with our products uh, Isoconda, which is the drug candidate, uh, which will be delivered via Anaconda, which is the medical device. Yeah. And uh, we believe and quite confident that we can make this uh, therapy to become a new standard therapy for ventilated, mechanically ventilated patients in the ICU globally. So Sedona Medical was uh, listed on uh, Nasdaq First North Stockholm in June 2017 and has yes. had a fantastic journey as a listed company since then. Uh, you've had some great uh, off-label sales already, uh, yes, but you're correct. looking at a couple of different markets. Yes. The European market is uh, the closest one, yes. but uh, you also uh, have plans to list uh, apply for the US and China and uh, probably later on Japan. Yes. Could you please tell us a little bit more about the market potential for this? Uh, yeah, overall, geographies? I mean, uh, overall, what we can say is that uh, looking into this niche area with uh, only ICU patients, uh, mechanically ventilated patients, mm -hmm. we, we can see that approximately there are 30 million patients uh, passing by um, uh, an ICU every year. In, uh, and uh, that if you then uh, look into the, I mean, the ventilated patients that are sedated, we comes to a market potential approximately of 20 to 30 million billion Swedish crowns right. annually. Mm -hmm. And that's divided approximately one third in Europe, one third in, in, uh, in um, Asia, yeah. and then one third in, in US. But US, I would say, would have a higher potential because of the price levels. Are, are I mean most likely we can have a better pricing in, in US compared to, to the Europe. And, uh, so I mean, from and from a potent and and from a uh, priority point of view, now we are very much, as you said, I mean, focusing on Europe. We will have uh, the full therapy approved, uh, hopefully by the second half year of 2021, and uh, we are preparing ourselves now for that launch. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, actually, with, with the KOL uh, uh, discussions, ref getting reference centers. Uh, investigator initiated studies everything uh, that is needed to, to launch a full therapy and uh, I, I would say that this is interesting because I mean uh, sti since despite we are as you mentioned uh, off-label uh, therapy now uh, we have a usage in, 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 in Germany which is our test market so to say with almost 600 ICUs using it already yeah. despite off-label and and that shows that this uh, is definitely a medical need in this yeah. area and that we really want to uh, use it. And um, so that is the aim. And then, of course, U.S. is, of course, also important for us. It's, it's very interesting, but that will take a little bit longer time. And we expect to have an approval in 2024 in, U yeah. in, uh, in U.S. Yeah. And China is a little closer. Yeah, right? yeah. China, Asia is, is interesting because, I mean, first we have Japan, which Anaconda is already approved. Yeah. Uh, but now we have initiated the registration process for, for the isoconda, the drug. Okay. So, uh, but we will uh, g uh, have more information after the pre-IND meeting with the Japanese uh, authorities during the sec first half year next year. Okay. And then China, of course, Anaconda. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, signed a distributor agreement with a big player in China, a very good partner there. And they have now initiated the fast track registration yeah. for the Anaconda initially, and then we look into the possibility also for the for the drug. Yeah, that was very exciting news. Yeah. Uh, and looking at uh, on the short term, are there any specific uh, events that we should be on the lookout for when it comes to the European uh, registration? Yeah, I mean, of course, we have the the, the registration study, yeah. uh, and we will hopefully have the last patient in by the end of this year, approximately. Yeah. And then we, of course, we will have the top result of that quarter later okay. and that will of course be a very important milestone yeah. and then of course to the submission into 16 markets in Europe yeah. hopefully next summer um, so okay. that is and then of course we will have other news coming in between uh, and uh, which is more of a commercial uh, perspective but also some scientific uh, perspectives as well I, I hope to, to deliver that yeah so thank you very much for the walkthrough thank yeah, you thank you very much